San Pedro de Atacama in Chile and we're so so excited to be here. Yesterday we picked up our car from EconoRent. It's actually a Hyundai Creta I believe, uh, 4x2. So we're gonna test it today on the off-roads in Laguna Miscanti. Okay, so we drove 100 kilometers to Laguna Miscanti, but it's so windy today, like the car is shaking, you can tell. <sighs> oh my god, I've never experienced so much wind in my life. And it's at altitude of more than 4,000 meters, so I was running out of breath. Oh my god. in San Pedro de Atacama with these amazing views. We're having Argentinian style breakfast in Chile. Mate and bread with dulce leche. Some Bicunians here. Can't believe they're so close to the road. Hey guys, we drove for two and a half hours from San Pedro to Aguas Calientes, and this place is a dream. I have never seen anything as beautiful as this. Alright, so it seems that between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. it's the best time to come here and it's hitting 12 p.m. now and you can see that the rocks behind us are becoming red, which is why they're called Piedras Rojas. Oh my god, so these guys decided to block our road and they don't want to move, so it's a complete standoff right now. Most incredible sunsets I've ever seen. Uh, San Pedro Atacama is next to all the volcanoes and Licancabur is right opposite our Airbnb. It's one of the most beautiful volcanoes here in the area and during the sunset just fires up in red. It's just so beautiful. That's our Airbnb over there, there was a collection of houses and there's a table and a couple of chairs for us to watch the sunset. Guys, we're on Highway 27, we just decided to do a road trip and we were told you can see a lot of animals here and indeed you can. Look at this beautiful fox just on the road. came to Laguna de Tara and it's absolutely vast, beautiful and right at the back you'll be able to see tons of flamingos.
coming to the end of our Route 27 trip and it's been absolutely amazing. I don't think many people come here because we haven't seen many cars on the road and the views are stunning, untouched nature, lots of flamingos and just overall just absolutely beautiful. If you come here make sure that you take water, food because there's absolutely nothing on the road and we're at the last stop and the next stop is basically the Argentinian border. Guys, we started the drive up to El Tatio Geysers, but we're doing it in the afternoon just to see the drive. I'm not sure if we're actually going to go to the geysers, uh, but the drive itself so far, it's quite remarkable. Just a little trivia about El Tatio Geysers. It's at the altitude of 4,800 meters, the highest I've been, and there are more than 80 active geysers here. I just finished looking at all the geysers. Um, it's quite cool, but it's a little bit underwhelming if you've been to uh, Yellowstone or New Zealand. Um, they're a bit small and it could be the time of the day as well, because there's no one really enjoying this. We came to Lagunas Paltinache. It's a set of seven lagoons that are salt lakes actually, and you can swim in them. So jealous because so many people uh, went in and they were floating like it's Dead Sea. Uh, next time, maybe. Okay, this is where the fun begins. It's completely dark, so it's good that we brought a headlight. Okay, we're in this cave and <laughs> there's absolutely no light, so luckily we had our torch. Um, not sure if we're supposed to go further or not. <laughs> we're just going to keep going and see, uh, until we see the light. This place is really not good if you are claustrophobic and if you're not in a good physical shape, that's for sure. down. Hey guys, it's 6.30, it's time to go and see the amazing sunset. Let's go. <music> guys, we're finishing up our San Pedro adventure here in Valley of the Moon and what a better way to do it than this incredible big sunset.